He was a child of favorites and was called Matthias Schindelar. He stood in the middle of a green square because he was a center forward. He played football and he knew not much from life either. He lived because he had to live from the soccer game for the soccer game. He played soccer like no other. He was full of wit and imagination. He played casually, lightly, and cheerfully. He always played, he never fought. He threw the blonde hair aside, let his Lord God be kind, and stormed through the green expanse sometimes right into the gate. The High Warden rejoiced, the Praetor and the Stadium, when he smiled and fooled his opponent and quickly pulled away from him, until one day another opponent suddenly got in his way, a strange and terribly superior one, before which there was no rule nor advice. From a single hard kick, found the player Schindelar cast out of the middle of the plan because there was the new order. He stood by for a while before leaving and going home. In football, just like in life, it was over with the Viennese school. He was used to combining and combined some day. His overview made him feel that his chance lay in the gas tap. The gate through which he then walked lay dumb and dark altogether. He was a child of favorites and was called Matthias Schindelar. Frederick Torber on the death of a footballer. My name is David James Roberts. In the upcoming podcast documentary, The Ultimate, the true story of Matthias Schindelar, I will investigate the legend of the paper man, the ultimate, the life, death, and legacy of Matthias Schindelar, coming this November, powered by ACAST.